The Vikings practice squad is upon us. All right. And I'm going to tell you right now, man, I'm a little excited. I got to say it, man. I'm excited. I think there's some great pieces here. Listen, this is the insurance squad. You got to make sure your practice squad hitting on all cylinders, bro. Because if things go south, this is the roster that you tend to look at to see if there's any possibilities of bringing one of these guys up. These guys also are important because they're the guys that get you ready for your opponent the next week. So this is definitely important. But I'm going to tell you, man, I'm so happy that Bo Ricker actually got signed back to the practice squad. I think that's a big move. Honestly, I could see him getting called up sooner than later, especially if somebody's underperforming or something like that. So that's a great move to make sure that Bo Ricker got back on the practice squad, man. Miles Gaskins, I think he had a great preseason, man. I'm happy about Miles Gaskins being able to make the practice squad. I think there's a possibility there too if there's some kind of underperformance happening or something like that. I mean, we all seen the roster. CJ Ham is RB3. Okay. So if things go south, man, we at least have some insurance there. I like that. Dwayne McBride, listen, I, I it's it's okay. I do believe the Vikings should probably try to add some different players. Um, Dwayne McBride, though, man, I mean, he's there. He's insurance. Again, he, he's your he's your liability insurance. You know what I'm saying? Your, your liability, your, your $1 a month insurance. You know what I'm saying? Just in case something happens, it's like, all right, we got Dwayne McBride there. Bring him up. But again, man, I'm going to tell you, one of the names that I'm super excited about too, man, is your boy Dallas Gant. I know Dallas Gant was a fan favorite during training camps and this offseason and stuff like that. And again, another player that is really good adding depth to this Minnesota Vikings football team. Like if things happen, this right here, this roster right here is what we have to lean on. Let's just remember that as Vikings fans. Now, the one that I'm not super, you know, okay with is Andre Carter, right? So like Andre Carter to me, it's like, I know you're trying to hold on to him. You paid him last year as a UDFA. You're trying to hold on to what you got. But the truth of the matter is he just hasn't been performing well, man. He's been underperforming. I mean, some people will say they seen some flashes of him this preseason. Nah, dog, it ain't happened. There's a big difference between what you've seen him do and what you've seen Bo do, man. There's a huge difference. And he's actually been on the roster one more year. So again, some of these players, I feel like they need to go. You feel me? Jalen Williams. I, I used to get Jalen Williams. I was getting Jalen Williams mixed up with damn Dwight McLaughlin, man, Nudie, you know, because of their uniforms being damn near similar. So I thought they were dang near one of the same. You feel me? But shout out to Jalen Williams, man. I actually like Jalen Williams last year. I think he's a great player to have on a practice squad. Bobby McCain's another one because he's aggressive. He's a guy that will lay the hat. He's a guy that brings energy. So that's also a good one. Nikhil Harry. I'm ready to see Nikhil Harry do something, man. You know, I have faith in Nikhil Harry still. I'm holding on to it. I think Nikhil Harry can definitely bring something to the tight end room. So I'm waiting to see it, man. So shout out Nikhil Harry still being on the practice squad. Nashawn Wright, you know, hey, the, the player swap we did with Andrew Booth Jr. Andrew Booth Jr. actually made the 53-man roster in Dallas, which is crazy to me. But Nashawn Wright on there, man. Can never have enough cornerbacks on the team, man. You know what I mean? Especially when you're thinking about the practice squad. So shout out to Nashawn Wright, man. Shout out to all these fellas, though, at the end of the day. Those were just some key ones that I, you know, I'm excited about, man. In particular, Bo Ricker, man. I just think that he was a great piece and it was kind of shocking to see that he didn't make the 53, but I think it was strictly due to the amount of talent we have at the edge rusher position. But now that he's on the practice squad, it gives the team flexibility to be able to use him as they would want, man. And then I like it, man. I like the vibe. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about the Vikings practice squad, man. Are you excited? Do you think this is a good one? I think this is one of the better practice squad lineups that I've seen in quite a, quite a while. You know what I mean? Maybe not the best of all time, but a good one, a good one. You know what I mean? So let me know how y'all feel down in the comments, man. It's your boy, R.A.P. I'll let your boy.